Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how to retrieve data from API using Python requests. We are going to make two examples. We are going to retrieve supply chain shipment pricing data from USA uh, Aid and then we are going to retrieve uh, data from Socrata. Our goal is not only retrieve the data, but transform the data into a pandas data frame. Ok, so let's start. All the links here are in the description so you can just uh, take the link over there so here let's go to the website okay here we have in we are in data catalog what we want is the data supply chain shipment pricing data Now, in this page, we can scroll down, we have a lot of information, but down here, we can view, we can have a preview of the data that we want to uh, import. Now, let's go up, and here, it's written API, let's click. Now, what we want is this API endpoint, but let's go uh, to read the documentation. Okay, so this documentation is very, very good. You have a lot of information and also examples. Uh, here, you can register in, uh, for the app tokens, but we are not going to do that. If we don't register, we have just a limited number of requests, but for the example, it's fine. If you go down here, you have all the information, all the parameters and how you can call them, okay? And down here, there are several examples. In, Pan, in Python here, they use a different uh, package. Uh, we are going to use requests. So now, uh, let's go back here. Let's copy. Now let's start here. I just paste over there. Okay, so what do we need? We need pandas and requests. So let's import them. Now we have the URL. Let's, uh, let's save in this object. And now we generate this response object by using get from requests, we pass the URL and dot JSON. Let's check the type of object, and this is a list. Let's view the first entries. So this is what we downloaded. So now, we want to transform this data into a pandas data frame. In this case, it's very simple. We just, we have a list, we just use a, a data frame from pandas. Let's view the first entries. And this is the data set that we downloaded. Okay. So now let's add the parameters. Let's say that we want to retrieve data only for a country called the war. So what we have to do to the previous uh, URL, we add question mark country the parameter equal called the war. Let's repeat the same steps as before. And now, as you can see, we have only country called the war. 
Now let's say that we want data for country called the war and only if shipment mode is air mode. So what do we need here? We need to add and shipment underscore mode, that is the parameter, equal air, the value. And we are concatenate with the previous uh, URL. And this is the URL that we built. Now, uh, let's uh, let's get the data here but now notice that we are we are not using dot uh, json here now let's print and as you can see now we have response 200 200 means successful okay that our request was successful now we can add uh, dot json as uh, before and it's a pandas data frame and as you can see we have country only called the war shipment mode only air let's view also the tail of the data set and as you can see for the war and air okay so this was the the easiest uh, example now let's consider that we have a nested list so uh, let's go back to the website here here learn more about let's go on simple filters and what we want here is this one again you can copy i go back to the file Okay, let's repeat the previous steps. And now uh, let's use the same as before, but now notice here location. You see here what we have, the data are, were not uh, appropriately arranged in this, in this column. Let's check uh, again the type of object. And it's a list. Let's view the first entries. So we have this key and values, but notice here in location, this is our uh, key. Then we have another key with values, another key with values. And this is what we have to deal with to adjust this column. Let's see how we can do this. I show you two, uh, two ways. So the first one, we use uh, JSON underscore normalize from pandas with max underscore level equal one. And max uh, underscore level is the max number of levels to normalize. We have seen from here, this is the levels that you want to normalize. So let's run. And as you can see now, we have our our data. This is now a data frame we can work with. For example, here the columns here the values are together, but this now is very easy to uh, to adjust. Let's run these two loops to just separate uh, the longitude from the latitude. And now. We generate two columns here with the longitude and latitude and we can check here this longitude longitude latitude latitude and so on so this was the first method and uh, let's go to the second one this one is a little bit more complicated but uh, we have uh, more flexibility so again we use json underscore normalize but at this time we use record underscore path and meta. So uh, let's go back to this file here, to this document. So what do we want here? We want to select the 
the value that we want to normalize for. So location, and then here we have uh, coordinates and all the other uh, key that we want to retrieve, we want to store in our uh, pandas data frame. So this is location and coordinates in record and path, and then all the other uh, uh, variables that we want to keep. So let's run here. For example, now what do we have? We have a depth, earthquake, magnitude, number of station, location type, but coordinates here is the column zero. And notice that uh, basically the data were split then. So we have uh, basically the longitude and latitude here. So uh, let me show only this, for example, if we want to retrieve other column here, I'm adding source run again and as you can see i have already source here i have again source here so uh, now what we want to do we want to correct from this okay let's again we have just to manipulate uh, what do we do here first of all uh, let's rename this column as coordinates Now we just store the first column in this port object. Okay, let's check the length 76. And now, what we want to do basically, we know that this is if we uh, if we drop the first column, these are just uh, duplicate observation because the only difference here is the latitude and longitude. So what do we want to do? We want to uh, just uh, split these coordinates, now chord object, in two parts, where we keep the longitude and the, and the latitude. Okay, and then we remove the, we drop the duplicates and we attach the, the longitude and latitude to the data set. So let's do this here. I'm just here keep from zero to the length length of coordinate every two. Here latitude from one to length of coordinate every two. For example, this is chord uh, chord lat. So we have only the latitude here. Now, what we do, we drop the uh, coordinates uh, column here. And now, as I told you, we have just uh, duplicate values here. So what do we do? We just drop duplicates. We make a copy of that. Okay, so as you can see, all the uh, odd rows they were dropped. Now uh, let's uh, generate the new columns in the, in the data set. So here, uh, longitude equal chord uh, ln underscore lng. So here we have a longitude. And now let's, uh, Let's transform this chord underscore last that is a uh, panda series in a list. So what do we do here? We add the column latitude at index six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we added this data chord underscore lat and in place equal true. And here. we built again the data set. So uh, that's it for this video. I hope it's useful. And if you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.